What's up guys, Black Wolves here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the 16th stage of the Vuelta a España with Education First, uh, with EF. Uh, we're still leading the GC with Rigoberto Run, but the gap is uh, being slimmer and slimmer every day with Rigoberto, uh, with um, Alejandro Valverde, sorry. If you haven't seen the previous episodes then I highly recommend you to do so. But um, yeah, without further ado, Pravia, Alto de la Cubilla, mountain stage, 155 kilometers. Let's win this and let's make sure to, well, win this tour. Uran is in a plus three today, which is all for the better for this stage. We're not going to send, uh, I mean, now we're going to send Lotus and Craddock in the break once again. Because uh, that's just what we've been doing for the past few, like, stages now. Uran, Hugh Carthy, Dan Martinez at the front already. You, uh, if you haven't seen yesterday as well. Uh, Miguel Lopez withdrew from the race, uh, nearly giving Ducarty the white jersey. Uh, he just needs to be careful not to lose it to Danish Fugasar. But um, if he doesn't, then we're we're looking more than good ahead of uh, well the final week of the Vuelta. So yeah, we just need to hold on with uh, with uh, Ducarty, and we'll have at least one distinctive jersey. If we can't uh, bring the uh, the red home, which we hopefully will, uh, but yeah, some attacks. A lot of riders attacking. The only one not attacking is Lars and Craddock because he's not at the front of the peloton. Um, that's just not not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, a lot of guys already in the break, and because they're pacing that much, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch them. I don't think I'm going to be able to go for the points at the uh, Alto de, Ma de Malechina, but uh, Esteban Chavez isn't exactly with us. Uh, there's only, what, three points to be taken here, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to fight for them. I'm uh, way too low on energy right now. Uh, we're still fighting to, uh, well, have a gap with the peloton. But uh, there's the first attack, David de la Cruz, who's already won a stage on this Vuelta, is attacking and he's probably going to get maximum points. Uh, let's, I mean, let's check, but he's looking good. He's looking like he's going to get top points. Uh, the uh, rider from Ineos, Jonathan Lastra, is going to fight for second with Dylan Turns. Dylan Turns gets second, Omar Fraile third. Lastra gets none. Okay, one, ki one kilometer before the summit of the uh, Alto de la Cabruniana. We're going to attack. Uh, actually, we've timed their attack perfectly with uh, Jonathan Lastra's. Um, well, Lastra, sorry. And Lawson Craddock is going to get. We're going to get top points for once. Hey! Big up, big up Lawson Craddock, 33 points for the um, American, as we have now the uh, Puerto de Marabio to um, worry about. That could be 10 points, we could be on 43 points potentially if we were to uh, cross the line in first position. There's been uh, quite a massive crash in the peloton, the likes of Sabu Garmay, Philippe Gilbert, Tony Martin, no big names. However, um, if I'm pretty sure that uh, Damien Hausen, Zander Armé, and um, I think it's uh, it's either Jesus or Jose. It's Jose. Jose Rada uh, withdrew from the race. So not ideal for uh, Kofidis. But um, I mean, for now, it's not on my. It's not my concern. I should be expecting to uh, try and keep Pierre Latour in the top, like in the good positions. I don't know why. I don't know who's dangerous uh, to Pierre Latour. Like, it would be someone 16 minutes, and there isn't anyone dangerous. Like, the only one would be Michael. M oh, sorry, Thomas de Rent, I think, in the break. Uh, he's, and he's 21 minutes down. So, no real threat. I don't know why I should be facing. But uh, I'll let them do their thing if they, let their, if they let me do mine. Okay, we're approaching the summit of the Puerto de Marabio. Uh, we're still leading, uh, leading the way, sorry, in the, in the group. Trying to make sure no one attacks here and there. Uh, there'll probably be an attack, to be honest, in the next like few meters. We're just gonna increase the rhythm in the peloton because, uh, well, the rhythm has increased, so we need our riders to like do the same thing. De la Cruz in my will with Victor de la Parte and Jonathan Lastra. I'm sensing an attack from Lastra in f like a few seconds. Uh, actually, I'm, sens I'm sensing an attack from literally everyone in this group. There is the attack that I was ho uh, waiting for. David de la Cruz. Makes the first move, Lawson Craddock in the wheel. I'm probably going to struggle to follow, but we're going to do our best uh, in the wheel of uh, the Ineos rider. We're going to attack now with Lawson Craddock. Can we overtake David de la Cruz? Probably no. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 39, we did not overtake him. Um, so we're going to stay with 39 points though, uh, which is decent. Only 6 points 
if we are second or first at the next time, there's a good chance that we'll be virtually leading the well mountain classification. Uh, I got dropped in the breakaway because I didn't watch what was going on, with, so I'm very pissed because last thing wasn't like on a good day for once. Uh, but yeah, just like I was watching what happened in the peloton because there was like a crash or a puncture, I think, for one of my guys. Come back, Lewis and Kodak is one minute thirty down. Like, what happened? So that's just not good. It just isn't. The Lanterns will get maximum points at the Alto de la Cobertoria, ahead of Omar Fraile, Fabio Aru, Herada and Brambia, or Nieve. Uh, I mean, that's good in a way that none of my rivals will get points, but I think Lothen could have been up there. Okay, we're at the bottom of the Alto de la Cubilla, um, 18 kilo well, 17 kilometers, 5% um, average gradient. It's a climb that suits Rigoberto more than it ever suited Alejandro Valverde so we need to like make sure that we do well here um, the breakaway probably will fight uh, or actually I don't know if they'll fight for the win because Higuita is coming back at a quite an impressive rate now uh, we need to like make sure but I'm not sure um, only 24 riders left in the group or on the, in the main peloton should I say some attacks up there are when Nieve Kradok uh, is going to die because he has no energy left uh, whatsoever but yeah, we're still pacing with Sergei Guita, dropping riders here and there. Pierre Latourizer, Jonathan Lastra just got dropped. Rigoberto Ran is not in the wheel of Ducati, which is fucking, like, not good. Um, okay, well, let's let's play smart. Uh, Wes Valverde, he's here. He's in the wheel of Quintana and Carapaz. Even if Carapaz is, like, doing a very good job at the moment, uh, like, he came back strongly in this welter uh 12k to go we've dropped oh we've dropped two leaders valerie conti and george bennett well at least one leader in uh in george bennett okay i don't know if 80 might be a bit much but because like the climb isn't really like that much um inclined like the inclination isn't good it isn't big i don't think i'm using too much energy just by pacing especially with like riders with good stamina and good mountain stats uh, we're slowly coming back though on the breakaway, on what remains from the breakaway. Mikel Nieve is currently leading the way, uh, four minutes ahead of the peloton. Okay. For now, we're we're running strong with Uran. First moves, uh, the first move has been made, sorry, and it's Pierre Latour from uh, Ajax de Zala Mondial who's uh, made an attack. He's immediately gonna get uh, caught up though by uh, Hugh Carthy. Ben Martinez has uh, stopped his effort, he's uh, out of energy with uh, Brambilla and uh, Marc Soler. On the 5k to go now, Jucarty is looking like quite low on energy, I mean by looking quite low he's got no yellow left. So we're going to take care of this situation by uh, making a move with Rigoberto Uran. Valverde already uh, following me. Come on like, why are you so good? Do you want to relay me or not? No, I would have been surprised if he was going to relay me. Where's Stanis Pogacar? Pogacar is having a shit end of the welter, that's incredible. Uh, Uran, Valverde, we're gonna stay in the wheel of uh, Alejandro Valverde. Roglic, Kroivak, Fuglson, Carapaz, Vukuls, everyone is coming back on, uh, on, on Alejandro. Dilentons and Nieve, will they fight for the win or not? Uh, is that an attack from Carapaz? Sure looks like one. Uh, or at least he's going to pace and increase the rhythm for Alejandro Valverde. We're currently on a bad situation yellow-wise with Uran being blocked by uh, Mikel Nieve here. Valverde going for the win at the Alto de la Cubilla. Come on, Rigoberto may just hold on. Just hold on. Nope. We're going to lose once again. We're going to lose time to Alejandro Valverde at the uh, Alto de la Cubilla. And he's going to get a uh, bonus seconds as well on me. He's going to get plus six. Maybe 15 seconds back from Alejandro Valverde and Rigoberto Uran. That's not ideal at all. Kroivak, second, Uran, Fulsang, uh, turns Roglic and all them lot. Uh, just need to make sure that Yukarty doesn't get dropped too much by Tadej Pogacar, which is currently happening. Uh, well, Pulse is going to overtake Yukarty in the GC. David Lacruz is a bitch for blocking me. Uh, but again, not a great stage for EF. Like, I'm, I'm just not good at the moment on TCM. I'm just not good. Valverde gets uh, another 10 seconds, so there will be 16 seconds added to uh, his time on uh, Rigoberto Ran at the end of today's stage. Uh, I mean, I'm just 
Uran is poor on this uh, final part of the Vuelta, I have to, to like be honest. Uh, I was expecting more from him. But uh, as long as I retain the jersey, I'm happy. Ucarthy loses a lot today, he losing 4 minutes and he's now 10th of the GC. We're gonna have to like claw our way back uh, on um, well, the guys up ahead. But uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a, an easy task at all. But uh, yeah, next stage will be Aranda de Duero, Guadalajara. Uh, finally a sprint stage so that the riders can rest a bit and uh, hopefully do a good sprint with Uran, try to get some seconds on Valverde. But uh, seeing how he's been doing right now, I think is that like his third time he's now destroying me? Um, yes, yes it is. We're losing a lot on Valverde now and I can't afford to lose any more, like I can't afford to lose more. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video nonetheless. Uh, if you did then please Leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same channel, for the 17th stage of the Vuelta. I've been Blackwall. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm leading. All them other man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from mealing. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.